Today on Tech Tuesday, we're talking injectors. When you need to change them, and will they make a difference to the engine power? A fuel injector is an electronically operated solenoid which opens and closes in order to provide precise fuel delivery to your engine. And when I say precise, I'm talking less than 0.1 of a millisecond or one ten thousandth of a second of opening time will make a difference to the engine's tuner. Most commonly, there's one injector per cylinder and they come in a few different shapes and sizes. They can be short, 40 millimeters, three quarter length, 55 millimeters, or full length, 60 millimeters. This is measured from the O-ring to O-ring. The fuel enters the injector either through the top, so that's known as a top feed and that's the most common, or a side feed, which is seen less and less in later model cars. Top feed injectors have an 11 millimeter or 14 millimeter O-ring which seals the injector into the fuel rail. There's a few different styles of electrical connector, but each injector has two pins, a 12 volt supply and a trigger from the ECU. The resistance of the injector, which is measured in ohms between these two pins, varies between injector types and is sometimes referred to as high or low impedance. Make sure the injector you choose is compatible with your ECU. All current Haltech ECUs can control whatever injector resistance you end up with. The injector spray pattern is very important as this is the angle that the fuel exits the injector. You don't want the spray pattern to be too wide or too narrow for your intake manifold and cylinder head type, or the fuel may end up spraying directly onto a hard surface and making drivability poor no matter how much tuning you put into it. The main reason for changing injectors is to increase the fuel flow rate. You want to select an injector that operates at about 80% duty cycle when the engine is making peak power. Also remember to size the injectors for the fuel type you'll be using and keep in mind that running on E85 requires an injector about 40% bigger. There's no point in changing to a huge set of injectors unless the engine has the supporting mods to use that extra fuel. Just changing injectors doesn't make extra power. You'll need to increase engine airflow in order to use more fuel, resulting in more power. This normally means adding boost pressure, compression, or nitrous. So is bigger better? Well, no, not really. You need to match your injectors to your application. That's it for Tech Tuesday. See you next week.